English has two types of articles definite article and indefinite article the nouns which cannot be counted which are big in volume okay so which are impossible to count are called as uncountable nouns possessive pronouns can help identify whether you are talking about specific or non specific items hello everyone this is shobita yes aradhya lecturer department of english Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to you all. And do you know we are discussing about the articles today? Yes, articles are only the three words in English: a, an, and the. But they rule English because they decide whether it is a singular or plural, or definite or indefinite. So let us learn what are articles, and let us learn. in detail when to use articles which article to be used so let's start articles articles are words that define a noun as specific or unspecific articles tell us whether the noun is specific or unspecific example after the long day the cup of tea tasted very good so here which are the articles as i said a an and the are the articles let me mark the is the article the other article is here before cup what does this tell us this tells us that after the long day the day was special it was a long day it is specifying the day so the definite article the is used there and it tells the meaning like that day was long and the cup of tea tasted very good it was not the unspecific cup of tea it was a specific cup of tea which tasted good so here we can see that the article used here is the that is definite article this specifies what the noun is what kind of tea was it what kind of day was it is now told by these articles then english has two types of articles definite article and indefinite article let us learn in detail about these definite and indefinite articles the definite article is the as i told you the is the definite article it limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing what this does is it limits the meaning of for one particular thing in the previous example you saw that the long day the cup of tea so it is limiting the meaning example here your cousin may ask are you going to the concert today so where is the article the is the definite article used here your cousin is asking are you going to the concert today the concert today means you both know that there is a concert and you both are talking about the same concert so when we are very specific we use the article the okay next the definite article can be used with singular plural or uncountable nouns but there are some conditions for that i'll be teaching you that but let us learn now the definite article can be used with singular plural or uncountable nouns what are uncountable nouns the nouns which cannot be counted which are big in volume okay so which are impossible to count are called as uncountable nouns please give me the mobile phone okay mobile phone is particular one mobile phone okay so the article the is used see the other example please give me the android phone very particular please give me the android phone the basic set is too old the basic very specific the basic set is very old so i want the android mobile it is very specific here that he needs android mobile only and for him basic set is too old so when it is specific and singular okay we are using here the with singular so we use uh, definite article with singular plural and uncountable nouns next the indefinite articles in english are a and an these are the two indefinite articles 
the indefinite article takes two forms again it has two forms as i said one is a and the other one is an when is a used and when is an used it is the word a when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant so when are we using a, a? we are using a when it is a consonant and it is the word an when it precedes a word that begins with a vowel if the word next to an is vowel only then we are using an otherwise if it is singular and it has consonant sound we use a let me repeat if the word is singular and has consonant sound we use a and if the word is singular and has vowel sound we use an this is the difference a is for consonant sound an is for vowel sound indefinite article indicates that a noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing what was in the definite article in definite article we saw that it is very particular specific okay but here it generalizes if the articles an and a are used it is in general use we under should understand that it is in general use example you might ask your friend should i bring a gift a is general don't know which gift to be brought okay a gift it can be any gift to the party the why the is used here very particular it is a party and they both know which party it is correct so if it is specific we use the if it is unspecific we use a or an your friend will understand that you are not asking about a specific type of gift I am going to bring an apple. Your cousin tells you. Okay. So, what is the article used here? The article is an. Okay. Why an is used? It is before a word which has vowel sound in the beginning. Apple. A sound is a. Uh, so, before the vowel sound, an is used if it is singular. And an also generalizes. So, what happens now? The indefinite article indicates that she is not talking about a specific apple. She may pick any apple from the basket. So, an apple. Okay. So, not specific. It is generalized. And let me tell you, the vowels in English are A, E, I, O, U. If the words are beginning with vowel, it is not enough to add an. It has to have the vowel sound. Sometimes the consonants are also unpronounced and vowel sound comes there in the beginning of the word. At that time we need to use an. So that rule I will be telling you as we proceed. Next, the indefinite article only appears with singular nouns. This is the one condition we need to understand that indefinite article always appears with the singular nouns. Example, please hand me a book any book will do okay if somebody says please hand me a book a if a is used there it can be any book okay if somebody asks uh, please hand me the dictionary means it is specific but here please hand me a book means any book is fine please hand me an autograph okay please hand me an autograph what is the difference here why a is used in the first sentence and an used in the second sentence because in first sentence, book, it starts with a consonant sound. B is a consonant and the sound of B is B. So, as it is starting with the consonant sound, we are using A. And here in the next uh, sentence, it is again singular noun, but we are using an because it is a vowel here and it starts with the vowel sound only, autograph. So, A sound A uh, is used there. As it is the vowel and vowel sound also is there, we are using an for this singular noun. Okay. So, again it is generalized. Any autograph can do that. Next, exceptions in choosing a or an. There are a few exceptions to the general rule of using a before words that start with consonants and an before words that begin with vowels. What are these exceptions? What are the rules to be followed? The first letter of the word honor is consonant. See the word honor. Okay. Though the first letter H is a consonant, we use 
the indefinite article and there, but it is unpronounced. Why uh, H is unpronounced? Because H is silent there, H is not at all pronounced. How the word is pronounced? It is pronounced as honor, O is the sound of O. In spite of its spelling, the word honor begins with the vowel sound, therefore we use an. Let us see the example here. My teacher is an honest woman. Okay. So, here H is silent. So, we are using an as the article, which is indefinite article. So, what is uh, that we should not do? My teacher is an honest uh, woman is the wrong usage. We should not use A here. We should use only an because H is silent. H is not pronounced in the word honor. Though it has a consonant, the consonant sound is not produced there. Next, exceptions again in choosing A and AN. Similarly, when this first letter of the word is a vowel, but is pronounced with a consonant sound, we use A. So, it is reversed to AN. If the word starts with a vowel and it is not pronounced, if we are using the consonant sound there, that time we need to use the article A. Let us see the example. She is an United States Senator. Why is A uh, used here? Because U is vowel. Correct? U is vowel. Then Y is using an wrong there. Because U is pronounced as Y U. Okay? Y sound is there. Okay? It is pronounced as Y U. United nations or United States senator. It is not used as united. What is the sound of U? A. Uh. A uh is the sound of U. It is not used as A. Uh. It is united. It sounds like Y U. So, using an is wrong but using A is correct. Okay. Next, this holds the same with the acronyms and initialisms. What are acronyms? Acronyms are the short forms or the abbreviations of a noun phrase, okay? Like NASA. NASA is the short form, N-A-S-A. -A. We are not pronouncing it as N-A-S-A. -A. We are pronouncing it as a word, NASA, okay? So, we call them acronyms. And what are initialisms? Initialisms are the first letter of the word phrase, and it is pronounced as the letters only like LCD, UK, HR, MLA. Okay. They are pronounced as first letter of the word only. So, they are called as initialisms. Let us see the examples. An LCD. Why is an used here? This is a consonant. L is a consonant. But why are we using an there? Because how is it pronounced? It is pronounced as L, A is the sound of vowel E. Okay. So, as we are pronouncing it as L, C, D, L, A is the sound of E, we are adding an there because E is a vowel. So, here it starts with a vowel sound. Then, A, U, K based. Though it is U is a vowel, but what is the sound here? It is Y, U. Okay. The sound is like Y U U K. So only the article A is used there. Next, HR department. H is a consonant. But how is it pronounced here? It is pronounced as H R A sound. Again, E sound is used here. So as it is a vowel sound, we are using an. Then a U R L. Again, here it is used as Y U. So we are using A as the article. Then MLA. For MLA, you need to add an as the article, not a or the. The is when it is specific. Okay. But here for MLA, we add an because M, A is the sound. A is the sound of vowel E. So again, we will use an with MLA. Okay. Hope you understood this. Going further, the article before an adjective. So, what is adjective? Adjective modifies noun, correct? It adds something to noun. Here, the articles also, they modify nouns sometimes. 
So, how to use that? Sometimes an article modifies a noun that is also modified by an adjective. So, though it is modified by an adjective, again article can modify that noun. At that time, see, the usual word order is article plus adjective plus noun. This should be the order. Article first, next adjective followed by noun. If the article is indefinite, choose A or an based on the word that immediately follows it. So, if it depends on which A or an to be used, it depends on the word followed by it. Example, Tina will bring a small gift to Rosie. Now find where is article and which is the adjective and which is the noun. Here gift is the noun used here. Gift is noun. Small. How is the gift? The gift is small. So the noun is modified. It is telling about the gift, how the gift is. So small is the adjective used. Before that should be the article. So what article are we using? We are using A because it has a consonant sound and it is singular. Next, I heard an interesting story yesterday. So again find out story is noun, interesting is adjective and an is the article used. Why we are using an here? Because story is singular. How it is adjective? Interesting. E is the sound of I. So, we are using an. Okay. Next. Uncountable nouns that are either difficult or impossible to count. What are uncountable nouns? As I already told you, they are either difficult or impossible to count. Uncountable nouns include intangible things like information, air, which are intangible. Then liquids like milk, water, juice and things that are too large or numerous to count like equipment. In equipment we can see so many things together, screws, nuts and so many parts in that. So it is uh, difficult to count. Sand, wood, we can't count all these. They are called as uncountable nouns. Because these things can't be counted, you should never use a or an with them. Okay, so which are not possible to be counted for those we should not use a or an for that we can use only the definite article the that too if it is necessary. Uncountable nouns can be modified by words like some or however like some water, some information, let some air come in. Okay, by adding those words we can modify the nouns. Let us move on. Example for that, please give me a water is the wrong usage. We are not supposed to use A there because water is uncountable. We can't count liquids, correct? But if it, it is in a unit like bottle, glass or something, at that time we can say give me a bottle of water, give me a glass of water. But here directly if it is water, we cannot count the liquid. So we are not supposed to use the article A there. Then water is an uncountable noun and should not be used with the indefinite article. Please give me some water is the right usage. Okay. If you describe the water in terms of countable units like bottles or glass or anything, you can use the indefinite article there. No need of article at all because some. But if it is in the units, at that time we use the article. Please give me a bottle of water. Give, please give me a glass of juice. Okay, So, if it is in the units only then you can use the articles there. Please give me an ice, ice cube. If it is in the solid form cubes at that time we can add an there or please give me some ice. Okay, If some is used no need of using any article again. Next using articles with pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns are the words which are used instead of noun. Okay. Like possessive pronouns can help identify whether you are talking about specific or non-specific items. Possessive pronouns means I, my, your, our. Okay, These are the possessive pronouns. So they will specify whether it is a specific or non-specific. We have uh, seen articles also indicate specificity. 
So, articles specify the things, correct? We have seen that. But if you use both a possessive pronoun and an article, at the same time, readers will become confused. So, what should we do if there are possessive pronouns? We are not supposed to use any article there because that will confuse the reader or the listener. Possessive pronouns are my, his, our, its, her, their, okay, which shows possession, okay. They are called possessive pronouns. Articles should not be used with pronouns. Let us see some examples. Are you reading the my book? Now, what will you understand if it is written like this? You will not understand because this the is not at all necessary. What can we do? Either we can make it as are you reading the book? The book means it will be particular or are you reading my book? Then it is specified that it is his book. It belongs to him. So, this is possessive pronoun. So, if there is possessive pronoun, need not use article there. If article is used, need not use possessive pronouns there. Okay. This is another condition. Next, the omission of articles. Sometimes we omit, we leave the articles and uh, frame the sentences. Occasionally, articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns. So, before certain nouns, the Articles are omitted, they are not used at all. In these cases, the article is implied but not actually present. Article is implied there but not present, it is not written there. This implied article sometimes is called the zero article because it is implied but not present, we call it as zero article. Often the article is omitted before nouns that refer to abstract ideas. Abstract ideas means which cannot be sensed by our sense organs. Touch, seeing or uh, tasting, all these if is not possible then we call it as abstract ideas. Now example, let us go out for a dinner tonight. Dinner we cannot uh, touch or feel, it is the food we touch there. It is the food we taste there but not the dinner, correct? It is an abstract noun. So, we need not use a. Though uh, we use, it does not make any difference. Without article also, it means the same. So, at that time, we omit the articles. Let us go for dinner. Tonight is also the same. It gives the same meaning. I studied the French in high school. See, if uh, the is used here, it is not needed. Without that also, it sounds good. I studied French in high school. It means the same. So, it is enough if you do not use article there. I like to play the cricket. Okay, The cricket, the can be used there but without that also. See, here the is used, here it is not used but still it gives the complete meaning. So, I like to play cricket is the proper way of using. Whenever it is the abstract noun, you need not use articles there. Hope you understood articles today and uh, you will use the correct articles in the correct time, in the correct uh, place in the sentence and uh, for the next session keep waiting. Until then, goodbye, take care and thank you.